Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. Today we would like to conclude the emergency flight control panel with a little bit additional information about the implementation of it. I made a video before talking a little bit about it and uh, mentioned DCS BIOS, an excellent software program for implementing your uh, hardware panels to your flight sim. And once again, we have uh, DCS BIOS is already running in the background and uh, it's monitoring the panel so that if you toggle your um, input devices, you can see the SIM responding uh, accordingly. So we kind of went over that before. So what I would like to cover today in this video which you may find particularly important and something that you can apply to your you know um, solution methods at, at work so for example what we would like to uh, focus on is the hat switch now the hat switch is a four position switch that's uh, momentary meaning that once you press it and let it go it returns to its uh, neutral state. But if we look at it in the sim, you can see that the simulation is uh, latching the hat switch so that when you press it, it's, it stays. And so when we looked at it, and I'm gonna show the diagram here, we have our hat switch connected to the Arduino and normally it would just be four DIs up down left right but you need a fifth uh, digital input to recenter the hat switch and that's why it uh, appears to be latching so for this this purposes I have a uh, toggle switch here that's wired to the back of our panel that if we operate it it centers the, uh, the hat switch so that if you press a direction and you toggle this guy, it recenters. So this would be a, a minor um, hardware interface issue. So even though you have an easy solution and hardware to address this problem, um, what you do is you, you really think that it should be solved in the software department. So you would go to your, your manager and explain the, the, the issue and also your multiple solutions. Um, generally, you don't wanna uh, bring up a, an issue with no solutions. So you give them as many solutions as possible, a hardware solution and a software solution. So for this particular one, the hardware solution would be, for example, um, let me just go over this again, just so in your mind before I, I show you what I've done, you can kind of see what the, the problem is. And also, for example, if I take the switch and just permanently ground it, for example, I'm gonna hit the, the ground. If, I, if you tie it to ground, the switch will not move at all. So that's really not a, a, a viable solution. Um, also, you can't install a switch that's not in your cockpit to toggle. That would not be a viable solution as well. So I just want to go over those two points. So a solution to this particular issue could be if you use a, a NAND gate. So, and if you look at your uh, truth table on your NAND gate, if you operate the switch, the NAND gate would, the NAND gate's output would be used to drive the fifth DI input. So, what we've done here in this particular case is uh, we have a a uh, NAND gate chip. So I'm gonna disconnect this toggle switch here. I'm gonna pull out that wire 
and uh, pull out this wire. I can grab it with two fingers. Okay, so we'll just, well, actually, let me plug this guy in first. It's easier to see. Oops, I got the camera at the right angle here. Okay, so we plug that in and we plug in this guy. Okay, so now that we have the NAND gate plugged in, you notice if we operate the switch, it's now momentary. It doesn't latch anymore. So again, the I guess the lesson to take from this is you have a software solution and a hardware solution. If you're in the electrical engineering department, for example, you would kind of recommend to your boss, hey, we might not want to implement this solution out of the hardware budget. You may want to implement it in the software budget. But that would be up to your manager's decision. But if you're working at a problem at work, you would not ideally just, since you have a solution, implement it on your own out of your hardware budget. Um, the reason being is problems like this, you want to advise your supervisor so that in the future they can better write the requirements and capture these issues so that when they bid the next project, they'll have a better idea of um, all of the issues that may arise. So that type of metric is captured. So even though the hardware solution may be easy, just a, uh, uh, an additional like logic chip, um, you always take it to your supervisor with multiple solutions and let your manager decide what to do. So at any rate, any rate, I uh, just wanted to uh, throw that out there. And uh, once again, um, thank you for watching and uh, good luck with your cockpits.